Hello again, it's Mr. Pete. Welcome back to the shop. You know, recently I did a tour of the Mitutoyo of America Corporation headquarters up in Aurora, Illinois. It was a wonderful tour. I've talked about it endlessly. Please watch that video, uh, not for my sake, but for Mitutoyo's sake, because they were so good to me, and I just feel guilty, I feel bad, that so few people have watched that. I know, I know I'm back to whining, but... Please watch that, and I'll, I'll put on the screen right now the title so you can check that out. You'll have to search for them. It's easy enough to find them. Please watch these two Mitutoyo videos of mine to help support my channel and to thank Mitutoyo of America. But the purpose of this video is since I have become a bit of a Mitutoyo fan lately as well as Starrett, I decided to try to pull out all of my Mitutoyo tools out of my toolboxes. I think I've got them all here, I'm not really sure, but there's probably about 30 items here that may be of interest to you. So I'm going to go through them one at a time and just talk a little bit about these fine Mitutoyo tools. I still have a lot more Starrett than what I have this brand, but it is a bit of a gold mine, so let's check it out. Please watch these two Mitutoyo videos of mine to help support my channel and to thank Mitutoyo of America. As you know, I have been canceled or shadow banned or deleted by YouTube for being a conservative. That's my only crime, I think, that I know of. But if you like my videos, you don't want to see my videos, you will not be notified. You need to search for them because I put one or two brand new ones on every week and no one is watching them. But the way to find them is do a search every week for Tubal Cain. Just use this word because this word is in the title of all 2,000 of my videos. So please do that and tell your friends as well to try to uh, save my channel from this ultimate demise. Thank you. Okay, let's run through these tools one at a time. If I'm moving too slow you, slowly for you, speed it up a little bit. These two mics here I picked up very recently and they're not in good condition. They are Mitutoyo Kamba mics. That means that they read in millimeters right here, metric, and up here in Imperial. This is a one inch, this is a two inch. Now you could also buy these where it read uh, Imperial here and in other words just the opposite and uh, metric up here. So these are really neat micrometers, great for the beginner. These have long been obsolete, uh, obsolete because they, uh, they came out with electronic ones. Who needs those little tiny gears anymore? For some reason, loose in my toolbox, there is three, I think there should be four or five in a set of Mitutoyo telescoping gauges. This is really a neat little square. I don't know if I've ever shown it or ever actually used it, but it is a Mitutoyo and it has the knife edge, about a four inch beautiful little square for machinists and in this little pouch a brand new thread pitch gauge by Mitutoyo am I pronouncing that correctly and a fishtail with John's name on it I suppose he's passed away here's a beautiful Mitutoyo knife blade micrometer satin chrome and under the hat a four inch dial caliper sometimes you don't need a six incher now I think I've shown this fairly recently because it's, it's a new acquisition it is a Mitutoyo combination square set and there is the protractor, but it's missing the nut. But remember, somebody sent me another center finding head. And I could rob the nut off this, but I'm hesitant to do that. And we still don't have the final answer here to whether this is the current color, the greenish, 
or is it the more bluish? I should have asked them when I was up there in Aurora at the headquarters. Maybe they would have known. And someone sent along this box, empty, because if I wanted to, I could put the square in here. That would have been the shipping container. You know, what's kind of interesting is I'm running into a few items I didn't even know that I had. But there's a Mitutoyo Series 183 shop microscope, I guess you would call this. And the light can get through the plastic. Pretty handy for looking at small work. And here is a micrometer I've had for many years. Two to three inch and it reads to the tenth of a thousandth. However, it's been damaged by that nasty foam that they used to use in their cases. But still a good instrument. And I do use this from time to time. I'm at the Toyo dial indicator extended range, two inch range. For some unknown reason I have quite a few Mitutoyo indicators. So here's a test indicator. Looks like most of the accessories are missing. I think that's about the same as the model we'll see in the wooden case down here in a minute. So I'll leave that open. There's another one very similar with all of the accessories. And I've had this for a long time, an inside micrometer. Again, the foam has dis disintegrated. I very seldom use an inside micrometer. How about you? And here is another combo mic. Forgot that I had it. It reads inches here. And actually, it reads inches in both both in the window and on the thimble here. These were so handy in the high school to teach the kids how to read micrometers because you would have them cover up, if they would be honest, that reading and then take a reading on whatever the work was, get the reading there in your mind and then to proof yourself, look right there and the answer would be revealed in the window. So these were really neat micrometers, albeit a bit delicate. I almost forgot what was in this case and that's the <clears throat> Mitutoyo Digital. I took the battery out because it's not one that I use every day. The only thing I don't like about the electronic ones, they're, they're kind of big and bulky and heavy and clumsy compared to just a regular elegant micrometer. But still a fine instrument. I gotta start using that. And I think you will all remember that I got a great gift from Mitutoyo a few months ago and there's a video devoted to that. I hope to flash that on the screen right now. Check it out. But in the mahogany box, remember they sent me two sets of these. A nice dial caliper Boy, are they smooth. Smooth. And a one inch micrometer. Now they're using a lighter green on the frames. Smooth. And a few attachments here. And there's the test indicator as I just mentioned. And it's not the same as the other one. Believe it or not, I do not have a Metatoyo electronic caliper. I really wish the good folks up at uh, Aurora would send me one. I hope that Sean is watching this. <laughs> Thank you, Sean. All right. How did you like my little inventory here of Metatoyo tools? This is not meant to be a bragging session. But I just wanted to show these off because I don't think I've ever done this. 
and uh, you'll be seeing me use these more and more in the videos. Again, make sure that you search for my videos every week or you will not be notified. This is Mr. Pete saying so long for now. Make sure you watch this video. You will be absolutely amazed. I've never seen anything like it in my entire life.